In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the journey of playing Terraria Submerged. For this challenge, I will start with the infinite water bucket, and I have to remain in the water throughout the video. Whether it's my entire body or just my toes, I must remain in water. And, uh, turns out that fighting bosses underwater does very strange things to their AI. But I don't want to spoil too much. Enjoy the video. Get back! Hey, chill, Get back! Chill. Needing to stay in water made exploring extremely difficult, Whoa. as it was basically impossible to place water and do something at the same time. It was definitely very interesting, and I slowly realized this was not gonna be easy. Oh, Vulture, I knew it. They can't actually go underwater, though. Maybe this is like Vulture Repellent? Kind of? It is! Okay, Vulture Repellent, it's working. Who are you? No, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, after my vulture repellent didn't work too well, I headed underground to get loot instead. We got worms too. And bro, everything was just a challenge. There is a slime right there, but my water should keep him back long enough. Nope. We did happen to get a life crystal, questionably. Not sure if I was in the water. After also dying underground, I decided to just go exploring again, swimming around. So I found myself in another cave. Oh, wait, what? Are we going into the dungeon? And I, I realized this just wasn't going to work. Bro, I cannot see. We needed some things first. So I decided the best thing to do is get some NPCs, get some housing going. I feel like the thing I needed most was a way to see when I was mining. There was no way I was going to switch back and forth using a torch and a water bucket. So I wanted to get the mining helmet sold by the merchant. So I made three little houses and surrounded them with water so I could actually use the NPCs that way. I hate it. And actually, I realized I didn't even have the 20 silver to get the merchant to spawn. So I had to go back out exploring. Ugly, okay. And while exploring, we ended up getting the spear, which is going to be insanely good for us. And I'll explain why in a moment. But I kept on exploring, got some Hermes boots, and found more heart crystals. I even got a toad vanity set before dying to a ghost. And by the time I got back, the merchant had arrived, so I purchased the mining helmet. Looking fresh. All right, so now, the reason I wanted the spear is because you can actually shimmer the spear into the trident, which when held increases movement speed underwater. So it's perfect for this challenge. So I think, I think I'm gonna go find the shimmer. <laughs> Please, just let me through, man. Leave me alone. Hey, there's a sky island. I have a slowfall potion. We're flying, we're flying. No, no! Take his ankles, go back the other way, go back again, go back the other way, go back again. Douse him, douse him in some liquid, some repellent. Minecart track. Stone here, bro. This has to be it. Oh, we found it! Okay, how are we gonna grab the- how are we gonna grab that stuff? Throw that in there. I can't jump, so hopefully. Really. There we go. Get in there. Oh, there we go! Okay. All right, guys, look at this. We are so quick. This is great. When I don't hold it, then when I hold it, boom. Oh, dude, look at that with the Hermes boots, too. That's crazy. All right, I believe the next step is to get some uh, ocean accessories. I should improve our ability to actually be underwater. There we go. A fin. A flipper, I mean. That's perfect. Boink. The fin with the trident made moving around in water super easy. We were basically faster than we would be if we were on land. So it was real good. Oh, dude, I'm going to die if I hit him again. Wait, I'm gonna drown! Oh. Alright, so the next thing we needed was an armor set, and I figured what better armor set to go for than the shadow armor dropped by soul eaters, because soul eaters actually can't go underwater. So I went to farm up for that. The task itself wasn't too difficult, but the worms are definitely a problem. And combined with the fact that we killed over 500 of these guys and still had nothing, kind of made me lose my mind. I actually started listening to uh, sad music. I'm not kidding. Some time alone. It's within that brings that low. You know, I held out. I ended up getting the armor I was looking for. Got all three pieces. And I got a fox costume, so that's pretty cool. So at this point, I figured we'd probably want to upgrade our house. It's not looking too hot. So I bought some bombs from the demolitionist. Blew up some obsidian for the house. And also, if you didn't know, you could actually swim in your water as you place it and fly. If you have the flipper. So I used that to go find skylands. Collected these little sun blocks, which I used to make the outlines of my house. All right, let's go ahead and fill these guys up. All right, there we go. Then, of course, we blew up our old trash one to get the NPCs to move into the new one. Oh, they could drown? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. You did this to me! Guys, it's not my fault. All right, house is fully complete. The merchant is loving it. 
relax, buddy. All right, but now that we have full shadow armor, we can no longer wear the mining helmet, which let us see underwater. So I needed the jellyfish necklace. Back to the ocean biome we went. While I was here, I also wanted to get the diving helmet, which lets you breathe underwater longer. And I wanted to combine it with a different accessory later in the run. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna act like I got this stuff pretty quick. But in reality, it, uh... Definitely took a while. So now with the jellyfish necklace and the diving helmet in hand, we were almost ready to fight our first boss, but we still needed hard crystals. And when it actually comes to fighting bosses, we're gonna need a water arena so we don't lose the challenge. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet, but we will figure that out. Anyway, let's get some life crystals. Reveal yourself. I'm good as Yo, two, let's go. Hey. There we go. Heart crystal. Oh, stay in the water. Bro, bro, get off me. Oh, that's seven. That's eight. Yo, these granite biomes go crazy. The life crystals. What? All right. The health issue complete, we started working on our arena. I decided to make a large rectangle and fill it with water. But um, I really underestimated how long it would take to fill it. Once we were done, we bought grenades from the demolitionist because I wasn't planning on using the trident versus the boss. I just wanted to switch the trident to gain extra momentum and grenades were my best choice. All right, here we go. Oh, he is coming in quick. He's wasting no time, bro. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be quick enough for this. We might have to use the spear actually. Bro, is he like enraged falling water? What's his deal? Bro, relax, buddy. Just switch between the grenades. Oh my god. Here we go. Now switch the spear. Gone. Gone. Ooh. There. He's turning. Yeah, that ain't cool. That is not cool. Not today. We gotta get air, bro. No. Well, that's some good damage. That's some good damage I'm taking. Oh no. No, dude. No. 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 Grenades. No. 200 HP, grenades. There we go. Woo! Damn, I did not think the fight was gonna be that hard. We'd hold the spear like most of the time. So if we're looking at the mandatory boss progression, the next boss is the Eater of Worlds. I'm just imagining fighting him in water right now and it's not looking good in my mind. So we definitely had to prepare for this fight. We had to make some changes. The first thing I did was collected Ebonstone blocks using bombs. We also destroyed a couple crystals while we were there. Now, I made a large flat platform at the top of my arena. And then I actually placed the Ebonstone above my arena to turn it into a corrupted biome. Because if you didn't know, you can't spawn the Eater Worlds in a normal biome. You have to be in the corruption. So this way we could actually fight him at our base. Last thing I did was crafted the demon bow using the demonite ore I got from the Agathulu. Got some piercing arrows and uh, we were ready for this fight. Or I, I thought I was. But one thing I didn't know, water acts like blocks for the Eater of Worlds, meaning that the Eater of Worlds can travel wherever he likes. The water gave him maximum speed and agility on me, and it did not go well. Well, all right, so I could just um actually prepare for this fight and try it again, but I'm lazy, so we're just gonna try it again without improving and see what happens. There he is. And when he comes, we have to switch to the spear and just run. Where are you going? You're lost. Tell it's your headset. Look at him, bro. He has maximum mobility. Get your ass back here, boy! Damn! I, I didn't know he could turn like that. Look at him! Fast How do you fuck, turn like boy. that? No! Yes, the juicy hearts. Ugh! Ugh! Dude, we need the Ike through the shield to dash, bro. I'm putting it on right now, actually. The dash. Oh, that's huge. Woo! Go up, go up. I'm literally drowning. The ankle breaking! Please, bro. There's a bus in the background. I don't know if you hear that. Someone's late for school. If we die now, that's so sad. Oh, dude. Yeah, come at me, buddy. Weave. Try again. Try again. Weave. Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. Give me that sh That was intense. Like, that's what I expect a boss fight to really feel like. I, I feel like I'm playing Calamity, like, rework boss mod or something. What? Do not fight the Eater Worlds in, in a tank of water. Uh... Yeah, we don't really have room for accessories. Speaking of accessories, we're gonna need to get some new ones because right now they're kind of trash and I can't even wear my diving helmet. I don't know if you guys noticed. If not that Eater Worlds is defeated, we could actually start like setting up all our accessories, go get the Tinkerer's Workshop and get a, a full diving gear set up. Hey, get out of my base. 
No, I'm, I'm gonna drown. No. The diving gear. And do we... What do we combine that with? Something else. Oh, really? We have the... Now we don't need the flipper because it's built into this. So we get an extra accessory slot. And I'm gonna put the worm scarf on so of course the next boss is skeletron but um this is not gonna cut it bro even while i'm holding the trident he, he's definitely gonna be able to catch up to me but i have a solution for that i think it's about time we bring it out the turtle mount Dropped from golden crates fished up in any biome, the turtle mount allows you to breathe underwater and move extremely fast. It's speed unmatched for pre-hard mode terraria. This thing is a must-have for this challenge. So the way we had to get it was we had to fish until we got a gold crate. And of course, if we're fishing for a long period of time, there was a lot of music listening to and singing. But I'll give you guys a break this time. I won't include it. Psych! Oh, simple thing. After about an hour and some music listening, we, we got it. And then I went to make my most ambitious arena yet. For Skeletron, we needed an arena as big as possible. So I crafted up an arena even bigger than the one I had at home and started filling that bad boy. One hour later. Once it was filled, we spawned in Skeletron. And the hardest part about this fight was probably getting into the arena itself. But once we were in there, it was smooth sailing. Like, literally. The turtle mount made dodging Skeletron extremely easy. So I was taking his ankles all day. You know, the water actually slowed down his skulls in his second phase. Which basically made Skeletron's second phase completely useless. And this fight was just a breeze. Alright, let's use the trident. Finish him off. Oh, 40 HP. Come here, buddy. Let's go. Oh, there's his head. We didn't need anything for the dungeon, but I still headed down there briefly just to pick up a few things, including the cobalt yes. shield. Right. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll be taking that. What? After that, we returned home by magic mirroring. Next place we went was the jungle in search for the anklet of the wind. We were finding a lot of these houses, got some seaweed for a little turtle pet. Then we got the anklet of the wind, which I used to craft the lightning boots, giving us an extra accessory slot. So I made the obsidian shield to fill its spot. Of course, killing the wall flesh going to hard mode is the next step, but there are some things we need to take care of first. The fact that we don't have much housing space. We only got those like six rooms we made in the beginning. Uh, we're gonna need more space for the rest of our NPCs, so I'm gonna make something a little bit special here. Before I reveal it, go ahead, take a guess. What, what do you think I would make in this underwater challenge? That's right, SpongeBob's house. We gotta make the bikini bottom a little bit. It's just gotta happen. And I forgot, this is a graveyard biome for when I farmed for that sea helmet and jellyfish necklace. Look how many graves there are, by the way. I did not record the entire thing, bro, but I died a lot. And it's done. I don't know what you guys expected. It's not, obviously it's not that good. We don't need too many houses. So I didn't make Squidward's house, but I kind of like it. You know, it's, it's not bad. I think it's a fine place to put the rest of my NPCs. And also I'm just gonna, just gonna put that in there. Oh yeah. It disintegrates, bro. That's kind of our problem. Uh oh, bro. The bats are following me out of hell. <clears throat> Alright, th th that's fine. It gives me time to tell you guys my plan. We're probably gonna fight the wall of flesh in lava. You know, it's a liquid. But if we want to be fast enough in this lava, we're gonna need the lava shark mount. And that's gonna be a pain in the ass to get. Ah! Yo, we just saw homie pop. To get the lava shark, we had to fish in lava, which requires lava bait. So I crafted up a little molten bug net, and we went to catch some. Yo, is that a bug? A lava fly cannot miss out on this opportunity. Right, come here, bud. Oh, dang. I'm hardly in the water. No, dude. He- oh, Come on. Yeah, it was pretty difficult. I can still place water. He's riding me, bro. Pause. This Trying to catch God, bugs man. while also placing water and staying in that water was very difficult. But with the stroke of luck, we got the bugs we were oh looking for. Goodness. And now we were able to fish. Is this supposed to take so long? Dude, hurry up. How much time do you need? Three obsidian crates later and 20 minutes of almost dying. To my obsidian skin oh. potions running oh. out. I got the lava shark. Yo, this is actually so sick. The last thing I started doing was connecting the lava pools in hell. That way we could actually swim with the shark. And we were finally ready for the wall flesh. Also, by the way, got this bow. I went back to the dungeon to get shadow chest and I, I, I found it. Yeah, but this fight's gonna be very interesting because, um, I... 
won't be able to see my character at all when I'm playing. But I can see my cursor, so like, you know, I just gotta hit the shots. I don't think it's a big deal. Hopefully not being able to see my character does not matter. Here we go, I guess. This is kind of bad. I can't even see him. I'm gonna hope these hit. He's taking some damage. All right, come here, buddy. Let me get your eyes. Let me get your eyes. All right, so good arc right there. Get them through there. Oh, I'm. Oh, that. That's the damage I'm looking for. Oh, I hopped out a lot of those. An accident. Complete accident. It's fine. I didn't lose some. Could get some fat damage here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, we're, we're taking the fat damage. That's what, that's what we're doing. Bro, what? The damage is there. Whoa, that damage is pretty decent. He is going pretty quick. If we run out of lava, that's a problem. I'm gonna get my water bucket ready, actually. Oh, I'm getting low. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect angles. Perfect angles. He's quick. This is the end. This is. Oh, there we go. Well, that was literally the end. All right, that is gonna be it for this part one of the video. Let me know if you want to see a part two in a hard mode with all those juicy hard mode things, you know. But for now, that is it. See you guys later.